GUI versus Charizard, perhaps? Probably. Probably, you know? So you're joining me on, like, Sky Racing. Sky Racing. Oh, all right. I have been off on my character selections today. <laughs> With ta uh, Tack versus Sorry Attack, I anticipated double Mewtwo Mirror. Or no, it was a Mewtwo Aegislash. And we got Empoleon Chandelure. So, I don't think anybody saw the Empoleon come. No, so I'm, I'm not very confident in my character picks right now. See how this goes in some match? It looks like they're just filling each other out right now. Yep. See, they're kind of able to hit with the full charge CA. Spirit Shackle coming out. Not able to block in time. Walking the 6xx and then getting hit with Kama's own CA. Had the time to fully charge it too. There's so much lag on that. Setting up the hands. The people, the people in the hands. Hidden Falcon. Almost gets nicked by those little wisps. He's gonna take it with the hands. Good try get in there from Falcon. Yep. Weaving through those traps and stuff. Yeah, uh, Darkrai's another one of those you really need to lie about how those projectiles work with your character. Okay. Uh, Sijuai has a lot of answers for him, especially with like release Y. Spirit Shackle goes through a lot of them like we see here. So we'll see if she's able to make an adjustment here in the next round. So come on, playing first early. Daka, great job, puts him up on the wall but doesn't follow through, but gets to the corny, or corner pressure. Now Bad Dreams are ready to come out to Darkrai along with Burst. So just waiting right there. Able to get, doesn't get the full wall conversion and misses the counter, or the burst attack. Just oh, a roll. Wow, just a very difficult. Oh, good lord. Yeah, full combo option. Oh, no, oh, it doesn't get to the back. Naughty. Doing the wrong version. Not putting him against the wall, letting him out. Good panic in there for Kano. Now we got a whole bunch of pressure on Kako. Yep. He's actually going to try to charge to go in the Bad Dreams Rising. Not able to get it. Falco pushes him out. Charge Spear Shack is coming out. Not punishing. Oh, it is punishing the dive kick. 6xx punishing the dive kick. Goes over to Celebi to try to get the phase shift. That's really good. Uh, Celebi is a really good support against Dark Rise, especially once they get in that nightmare mode. You can definitely see that. Right. And like that was kind of when it was first revealed. Everyone was like, finally, we have a very reliable way of dealing with Dark Rise. And then everyone figured out, oh, it's really not that great. Yeah, it's um, pretty slow. <laughs> it's like, it's very slow. That's the problem. Like, it has a slow charge, but also activation on it is very slow. So, like, when you're in this range zero, uh, right next to each other, you can't activate it because you can easily get punished. Spirit Shackle not able to get the projectile by. Doesn't pop the trap, so then after just Hiduke inside of there. Selby, counter frames. And just barely Snagging. gets him. So I like to see that help with the dual face here. Uh, just if Pekano ever does get into that uh, nightmare mode. Right. But I think Pekano pressed the button. He reared back. Uh, and he did. He jumped. Don't jump versus Decidueye. You are always minus. Just don't press the button. Just don't don't play the game. Just, just press the R button and uh, just take the grab, I guess. And release Y coming out there from Falco. It's sitting really nice here, but Falco kind of going. Oh, six oh, wow. X Why? <laughs> Why are you so broken? Please. Oh. Falco taking game one there. Yeah, Falco making a nice adjustment there and able to take game one. But six X X. Please, please fix. <laughs> Yeah, Foom coaching. Foom mid-game coaching. Mid-game's fine! Going back to the character select screen, Picano most likely switching it up. I guess I'm going to break some now. 
Yeah. Very easily to take over Brixton. Uh, Brixton's a little. Oh, yeah. See, I just I can't I can't do this today. You can't predict Guys, this I just I can't I can't do this today. This, this means all of his 50-50 guesses are gonna be off. It's gonna be great. Uh, I just I just can't do this anymore. I don't know what you people are doing anymore. I have no idea. This guy's gonna bust out the brakes in here soon. I wouldn't count it. <laughs> Sky and Dale, the only consistent ones. <laughs> yeah, that conversion off the fire punch. Yep. Really nice damage coming out here from Picano. And it charges up Ooh. a tail swipe. Not going to get the confirmation at the wall, though. And be able to break the Frenzy Plant. Flamethrower for the chip. Falco uh, already down in red health. Mm. Oh, barely text out of that. That's going to get hit by the CA, and that's going to do it. Charizard is a spoopy dragon who does a lot of a lot of damage, so this makes sense. He's even kind of picking up this character when we're doing that man, uh, random main bracket. Uh, he, was select, he selected Charizard or was selected Charizard, and just has rolled the character rolled with the character ever since then. Yeah. And he's just been tearing up brackets here. You're doing really well with this. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Always like good Charizard practice. So. This is not going to punish unless Picano was pressing a button. He was not. Sucker Punch, getting snuffed out. And then the Seismic Toss. Mega Charizard. Oh, and oh, he did have the burst as well. This will most likely do it. Not should be alive just barely. Uh, nope. Oh, one HP. Oh, <laughs> oh my, my goodness. goodness. Sky calling it. And then just the, just the flamethrower there, able to take it. So just a, a nice turnaround there coming from Picano. Just the raw power. Just switching over from more of that Zony, that Zony sort of play style to like, I'm just going to hit you really hard. If you have an answer for it, great. If you don't, I'm going to hit you real hard. Let's see if Falco can adjust here going to game three. Yeah, see, I, there's a lot of things that need to happen. I, like, she, she let Picano like, press, her, press her back to the wall uh, and like, force her to make decisions. If you can kind of keep your range and kind of keep the mid range here with Charizard, they have a lot less options. Nice Soaring Stance to try to get over it, but kind of able to hit him with the flamethrower. Barely yeah, mixed with it. FCA. See it? <laughs> now they able to cancel out of Soaring Stance time. Now see she's at the wall, now she has to start making decisions. And she goes to the 6x and is able to get it. Drops the combo though. Oh, tries for the grab on the reset. Just too slow. Mm -hmm. Kind of releasing early. Proton tries to punish, but it's actually going to get punished for punishing. <laughs> Whoa, that would have been ground. Nice 6x, smashing out of it. Call on Mew to contest the burst. Oh, uh, and then the crit fire punch coming out from Pagano. Paco making some really good decisions here mm -hmm. at some points. She just needs to get them the string together, really. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of great moments we're seeing. Uh, this is just like this kind of these mid-range conversions. She's losing until she has to make a decision at the wall, and then she'll like, uh, kind of guess correctly and do this. And now is a great time to put on some pressure. With, with the grab attempt, 6xx, going. Tries to keep it plus. So I believe that's actually a uh, what do you, uh, block string. So that wouldn't have been unless the condo was matching an option. Oh, I see. But I think she was actually plus enough that no matter what she really did, the condo was going to stay in shield at that point. Oh, and the fire punch and put the Falco on her last leg here. And that's a grab punish, but she's going to try to... Doesn't get the punish. No. And able to get hit with the CA. Kind of take that 2-1. Good stuff from both of these players. Yeah, it's a nice adjustment by Bacano. Great.